Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. So, guys, we've been up to a whole lot. Yes. Since our lot. last video, and we want to catch you guys up to speed a little bit, okay? So, bear with us. We're going to run through a couple of different things, but don't get lost in the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so, first thing that we want to update you guys on is the beauty room. Uh, our beauty room. So if you've been following us, you have seen us talk about it. You've seen um, some of our clients and, you know, people who have ordered the Beauty Brew. We've been posting them, giving them shout outs mm -hmm. for purchasing the Beauty Brew. And yeah, we've been talking about it. We've been selling it like crazy. So the base of it is horse tail tea, mm -hmm. along with other amazing all natural flavors and things like that. This product is 100% natural. It's no high fructose corn nope. syrup nothing crazy nothing to be alarmed about whatsoever or nothing that you would not be comfortable putting inside of your body yes yes and on top of that guess what it's only 70 calories 70 calories per, per eight, eight ounces. ounces yes yes per eight yes. ounces so we really put our whole hearts into this product we absolutely love it mm -hmm. we drink it yes so we would not put out there and or advertise anything that we ourselves would not drink or enjoy Mm -hmm. So, along with the um the beauty, oh, I guess we should tell y'all what it does. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it's it's absolutely beneficial to your entire body. It does different things that um really help to promote health across this beautiful vessel that you're in. Mm -hmm. So it helps with your hair, helps with your nails, also your teeth, your joints. It helps with your immune system, <laughs> immune as well as your skin. Yeah. Yes, you guys. So this is like the absolute stamped beauty drink. Beauty drink of the summer. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you can order your beauty brew. All you have to do is send us an email or give us a call. We'll make sure all the information is listed in this video. On the bottom. Yes, so that you can order it. Um, you can pick it up locally. Mm -hmm. um, if you are in the Richmond, Midlothian, Chester, Chesterfield, Virginia area, you can actually pick it up. Um, we also do some deliveries to certain areas. Mm -hmm. um, but you, we, um, you also can get it shipped to you. So... It really all depends on where you are, um, your options on how you can actually get this drink. But basically, if you're anywhere in the United States, you can get you it. You can get this drink. Yeah, you can get it. You're going to get it there. Yes, all you have to do is order it, and we'll make sure it is shipped to you in yes. the time of fashion. So yep. you can experience the beauty brew. Yes, you guys. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. A lot of people don't even know that it has an actual herb in it. Mm -hmm. Like, they think it's like some tropical punch. It's some of the clients are saying, you little spike to it. Yeah, <laughs> like... Ooh, I can drink, drink this sitting yes. out on my porch with a little splash of vodka, <laughs> splash, of, splash of tequila in it. We just make yes. it the mocktail version. Yes. We don't add, no don't add no alcohol to it. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome to do whatever you, you want to do once it. you get it. We got some cups too, y'all. Oh, <laughs> the cups that we drink it out of. <laughs> the curly intuition mugs. You can also purchase these along mm -hmm. with our shirts. Yes. And stuff like that. So if you want one, you can have it. Can get it next. And our apologies for it taking so long. Like yeah. we've just been crazy busy. Like crazy, like, crazy busy, crazy shows. Virginia State speaking with um speaking with the students at Virginia State. Um, shows more shows. We got another show we got on no May show. Uh -huh, May, May twenty seventh. We'll be at so yeah. Just rolling, you guys. Just yes. running with it. And we love you guys. Thank you guys for all of the support and keeping yes. us pumped up and going. Like, mm -hmm. we could not do this without you guys tuning in and watching us to see what our crazy tales got to say. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> so, basically, we asked if you guys had any natural hair care questions that you want us to talk about. Um, and then we would answer them on, you know on our next video so that's what we're doing we're sticking to our word and we're answering some of those questions for you guys question number one hit it hit it so this comes from i am nisi b mm -hmm. and she writes hi i have a question should sister locks be trimmed i sometimes see on social media that people are doing this and she wants to know is that a good thing or bad thing mm -hmm. so since I am the one sitting with sister locks, this is what I say to sister locks. And any traditional lock, sister locks, yes, you should trim your locks. Why? For one, you should get it done about every five to seven years. Mm -hmm. um, most locks will have separation at the bottom, especially if you color. 
which is called atrophy. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the split ends for locks. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep them healthy. You have to keep them cut because it will start to go up. And you'll end up with soft spots in your locks. So anytime you're going to cut your locks, make sure you cut it above the soft spot. Good old trim. And normally you will have a curly end, which is normal. And again, we'll have to remold and relock up. But it is good to trim your locks if you are having issues with your hair breaking. And a lot of people have issues, especially with color, and also with the age of your locks. Mm -hmm. So every five to seven years, get a trim. Now, if you just want to cut it in a cute style, yes, sister locks can be cut into any style. Layers, bobs, asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. With these, unlimited haircuts. Only, only thing is that if you are fresh install do not cut your hair you need to wait a little bit you just got your locks a year or two ago it's not time for you to cut them yet because you can still have the issue of unraveling from the bottom up and you don't want that you do not want you that. do not want that at all you're gonna be pissed off <laughs> yes you're gonna be mad, be mad. So, all right don't be cutting your hair. Cut it. If you just got your um your install. Definitely. Do yeah. right. So our next one comes from D Janelle26. Mm -hmm. And she says, Hey ladies, could you all talk a little bit more about moisturizing and caring for locks? Does all hair types, does different hair types matter as much as when it comes to actually caring for your locks? Mm -hmm. Moisturizing. I say it is based on your hair texture. Mm -hmm. um, and also based on the style of locks you have. Now, right. if you have traditional mm -hmm. locks, yes, you can do a moisturizer. You can wash your hair. Do your moisturizers to keep your salt hair nice and soft so they mm -hmm. have shiny. They don't have that residue look. Mm -hmm. Also, when it comes to locking traditional locks, you do not need to put product all the way down the hair. Right. So that's how you end up with white, ashy, heavy, sticky locks. Um, mm -hmm. Anything on the scalp, we just twist our clients up with oil. Water and oil, literally, that's it. And they have the most fluffiest, pretty locks because the dryer the is what locks the hair. Mm -hmm. It's not the product. That's what a lot of people don't know. And even a lot of that residue and that buildup, and they have no idea what it's coming from. What it's coming from the product, those uh, glues and those jams and that beeswax is not needed in order for your locks to look nice, to look healthy, and to roll, to be rolled, or, you know, and or lock in the future. Yes. You don't need all that extra product in your locks. Yeah, so you can moisturize them. After you wash, you can put conditioner on. Now, sister locks, mm -hmm. you oh, can... Oh, before we move from traditionals and the, uh, the palm rolls and stuff like that, if you are a newbie, yet again, if you just got your locks installed, traditional locks, do not put conditioner in your locks locks do not put conditioner in your locks they will unravel Rival. and they will not be you know intertwining and tangling like it needs to needs to do in order for the lock to fully form yes oh and i'm glad you said that too also if you are locking traditional palm rolls you can wash your hair you do not have to wait six months. Mm -mm. you can wash your hair if you have short locks mm -hmm. just take a group of them Put them together and still wash your scalp. So you can mm -hmm. still wash. You can even do a hot towel. You can do a dry wash. Mm -hmm. But you do not have to be in that stigma where I can't wash my hair for six months. I, I, yeah. I, I, no. yeah, you can wash your hair. It's not healthy. <laughs> that, and that's not healthy for your scalp. Yeah. Like that is not healthy at all for your scalp. You're sweating. Mm -hmm. You know, just all the things your body gives off. You have a lot of shedding. Um, dead skin cells and things like that it's not healthy for your hair to just because you're going through you know your locking phase that you don't wash your hair you still can wash your hair it actually might help mm -hmm. it's actually, it helps with the locking pro it actually locking does process. it allows your the, the shedded locked, hair the shedded hair to fall and to actually be entrapped into the lock mm -hmm. so Okay. You can't wash your hair. I just added it because you made me think about that. And then back to sister locks. With sister locks, no, you cannot condition your hair. Not saying never, ever, ever, mm -hmm. but during the first, that first month or two, it is really straight. You just want washing, sister lock shampoo mm -hmm. on your hair, the starter, that's it. And the only other thing that I do recommend for clients, because everybody's scalp is different, is that Dr. Bronner shampoo. That is the closest thing that you're going to get to where your hair is feeling squeaky clean. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> squeaky clean hair and it does not feel dry right. okay but another thing is after you color your sister locks now every time i color my hair or my client's hair i do 
do a reconstructor and I do a conditioner then. But other than that, two washes with Sister Lock, two washes with Dr. Brown, or whichever one you choose, rinse and we be tightening. But no conditioner on Sister Lock. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But you can do hot oil treatments. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Yeah. But not in the first six to nine months to a year. And that's based on your hair texture too. Mm -hmm. So it, and, it does. And at the end of the day, you can do what you want to do. You ain't got to take heed to us. You ain't got to listen to us. We're just giving you the advice that we, you know, that we found to be the best practices mm -hmm. for these different types of styles and forms of locks. But at the end of the day, we're not telling you or saying you got to do this, you got to do that. We're just suggesting it. Like we said, this is what has worked for our clients and this is what keeps their locks nice and healthy and beautiful and no issues, mm -hmm. you know. Because a lot of times some, um, some stylists might not tell you you know, the ins and outs of it, and then you be wondering, okay, well, why are my sister locks slipping? Why am I having, you know, why are my, my sister locks busting at the ends? What am I doing wrong? You know, these are a few things that we have found that can cause your journey to kind of be stifled and or, you know, hit a couple of bumps yes. unnecessarily. Wait, that's, that's a whole nother video. We can do a whole nother video on that. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Light like bulb idea. But yes. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Let's next see question. our next question. Yeah. <laughs> Becky A. Yeah. Shout out to Miss Becky A. My hair gets so tangled and so it breaks off a lot. I only finger comb and, and only when it's wet, but still it has breakage. What can I do to easy detangle my hair? The best thing is, and this is a question outside of locks. So if your hair is out like mine, you wear your hair natural, conditioner is going to be your best friend. Condition, condition, condition. When you are washing your hair, um, you need to make sure that you're doing some type of amazing conditioner that you are able to detangle your hair. I believe in detangling with a comb. Um, my hair is a little too full for me to do finger detangling. It would take me all day. Um, some women prefer it. Um, but when you are detangling your hair with a comb and you're starting from the ends and making your way up, I found it to be actually easy, you know, easy to detangle my hair with minimal breakage and or minimal shedding. So the key thing is being gentle, being patient with your hair and making sure that it is wet and that it has conditioner in it. So that's going to be my, my, you know, my advice for that particular um, question. I think all that was excellent advice. Mm -hmm. I think all that it's real good. simple. The key thing about natural hair is not getting too technical and just going off the deep end with all of these different theories that are out there. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Find what works best for, for your, your hair, hair and stick to it. Like people be doing all this extra stuff and be causing so many headaches and issues for other people. Like just simple and quick. Get make sure your hair is wet. <laughs> put some conditioner in it, honey, and detangle it with a comb from ends. To root. To root. And Start to from the root. bottom. Start from the bottom. And make work your way on up. And be patient. If you pissed off that day, if somebody pissed you off, don't detangle your hair that day. Because you're going to take it out on your hair. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait until you calm and cool and come in. <laughs> And then go and love on your hair. Or get somebody else to love on your yes. hair. Yes. Because when I, be, when I be over the top and I be ready to cut my hair off, I be like, when it do something to I'm like, her. Oh my God, just lay the bow. Let's and just... then she take her time and she detangle it and put it in a style, do whatever need to be done. But yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, and, and then let's talk about breakage a little bit. Yes. Yeah, so she just said something about breakage. It could be. This is one thing. You always have to remember that your hair is always going to shed. So you have to make sure that there's a distinct difference between regular shedding and breakage. If you're noticing any type of like your hair is breaking off from the bottom up, yes, that's considered breakage. That's mm -hmm. not shedding. But if it's literal whole strands of hair that's coming out of your hair and it's not creating any spots, it's not creating any ball spots whatsoever, that is shedding. And shedding is normal. A lot of women are afraid of shedding. Shedding is normal. Yeah. Don't be alarmed. It's normal. 50 to 100 strands a day we shed. Yes. So if you're natural and you're not combing your hair every day, that's going to build up. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, with me, if I wash my hair every day, when I detangle it, I'm not going to have that much, you know, shedding. But if I don't detangle my hair for a whole week, I'm going to have a lot more shedding than I would have with the other example I mm -hmm. just gave you. So you have to find out and you have to see what's normal for your hair and don't get alarmed, you know, if... Your time frame varies or 
whatever the case flip might flops, be. Yeah. Flip flops a little bit. Just make sure that there's no balding. And um, but yeah, so back to breakage. So if her if your hair is actually breaking from the bottom up, chances are you probably need to get your hair trimmed. Mm -hmm. Um, or there could be some type of damage that is is um that your hair is going through um it could have been heat damage um it could be chemical Color. chemical mm -hmm. damage and your hair is finally like you know what i'm done and it's breaking off <laughs> yep <It's falling> off. <laughs> that's how it is that's how it feels <laughs> and also medication medication stress stress, uh, stress can do take it, it too. out stress can do it too yeah so <laughs> Um, yes. and, and if you aren't able to identify what's going on with your hair, visit a hair care professional that can help you out, that can help diagnose what's really going on with your hair if you're unable to make that diagnostic by yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Yes, don't be afraid to ask for help. That was a great question, Miss mm -hmm. Becky. Our next one comes from Miss Aina McNabb. That looks like Ian. Ian? Ian. Ian. That's pretty. That is very pretty. Never seen it spelled like that. Mm -hmm. I'm getting off subject. Miss McNabb, thank you for your question. Ooh. It says, I am thinking of trying out foam rollers to get looser curls. Any tips, advice, <clears throat> or anything I should know before I use them for the first time? That is actually a good question. And the one question a lot of people forget, and it might be so funny, is your hair has to be wet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not gonna curl dry and mm -hmm. that could be even if my hair is dry like it is now since it takes so long for my hair to dry i literally take a water bottle or foam setting lotion just to dampen it so that way you don't have to sit and need to dry that long mm -hmm. but um any type of perm rods work foam rods flexi rods pipe cleaners lock loops um wrap a locks any type of roller it, it'll work it will curl your hair and definitely i love nairobi mm -hmm. um their foam setting lotion works really 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 well um but that's the biggest advice i can give you is make sure your hair is damp with and some not, type of product mm -hmm. yeah with some type of product mm -hmm. not totally saturated wet the wetter it is the longer it's going to take it to dry mm -hmm. so i prefer drying the head first if you have locks just a little drying and then put some foam on mm -hmm. but if you're straight out the sink you can put straight up foam setting lotion on wrap you up and you're good to go Mm -hmm. but it just dries faster when it's like already like this mm -hmm. and then for a hair like this same thing it needs to have some type of product moisture on it i know some people like to stretch their hair um before they put any type mm -hmm. of rollers in it because they want it you know they want a certain texture or a certain look to it which is totally fine but your hair is like for instance if i were to put my hair on some rollers with my hair like this my hair is dry it's not gonna do anything mm -hmm. when i take the roller off it's gonna still look like this i need some type of product some type of moisture um moisturized product on my hair in order for it to take the form of any type of curler or accessory to hair to get a different shape to get so. a look definitely mm -hmm. so make sure you have a good look product <clears throat> mm -hmm. definitely yeah and then uh, for foam rollers i particularly don't care for them that's just me i prefer the hard rollers um because i found that um it curls my hair better mm -hmm. um that's just me though i know a lot of women especially a lot of old school women who use foam rollers and that's totally fine um another thing with foam rollers you want to make sure that you aren't wrapping your hair too tight around them i don't know why but african-american women if you've seen like a foam roller it'd be like so tight and squished in the middle because we wrap it wrapping, so tight wrapping. and then sometimes when we wrap it that tight when we take it out it you know some of our hair gets tangled on it and we don't be thinking. We just take it right on out and our hair be all in the roll. All rollers. wrapped up in the roll. So you just want to make sure that you're not wrapping it too, too tight either on those foam rollers. Yes. I think we've answered all you guys' questions. Yeah. And we are so excited that you guys wrote in to us. Please write in again. We would definitely get these videos cranking back out as soon as possible. So we'll be looking out for you guys' questions. Mm -hmm. And I guess you know what time it is. It is time to... Just a crown. 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 Just a cr